when should you launch your online course or group program or even one-on-one -on -one service? And I want to thank Shweta Parmar for bringing up this point of, okay, George, you're talking about January being a great time to launch stuff because everyone's in New Year's resolution mode and they want to like make changes in their life. But isn't there um, kind of an artificially inflated motivation at that point? And people tend to, just like New Year's resolutions, they make New Year's resolutions and then by the third week of January, it's like, <laughs> all right, forget about that or disappointment or um, discouragement or life gets busy and they move on. And so if you launch something in January and you start getting people joining or signing up, might they also drop out sooner than you'd like? They're not as dedicated to the whole process. And I agree. I think that's a really good point. Um and and so you know what what Shreta had mentioned and she brought up this question is, well maybe we should be launching some some sometime in you know a more stable energy month like I don't know maybe November or maybe uh, February or March or something like that, and um, you know I I think that's a very wise uh, observation, um, and yes I do. Uh, find that for programs that you want people to stay with long term, um, you, you you either want people who have already bought something from you so that, that they've experienced you, you've experienced them. And so they're not just, oh, I just heard about you yesterday and it's New Year's resolutions. I'm going to sign up for your one year program. And then by February, they're like, oh, now that I know how you work and now that I'm dis you know, discouraged from having to make changes in my life, you know, uh, I'm going to quit kind of thing. So I, I think it's true. The longer the program, if it's six month program, nine month, 12 months, 18 month, whatever, the more intense or longer the program, the warmer you want the person to be or the more familiar and dedicated you want the person to be to your methods, to your presence, your style. And so, for example, like when I'm launching Master Heart or my 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 basically my year long program uh, programs at this point, um, I vet very carefully, and I'm like, if you've never taken a course from me, uh, I don't know if it's the right thing for because you don't know my energy and how I teach, and I don't know you. I haven't seen you in a one a, a live Q and A call, so I don't really know your energy, and so I can't I can't decide whether or not you'd be a good fit for my you know. So it's like, so so, but. You know, um, so and what I end up doing just for my own rhythm is I end up launching my year long program in like October slash November so that be, so that we can kind of start gentle onboarding in, in mid December and then officially start in January. But that's kind of my rhythm. But but what Shweta has said when she brought up this question is a good point. It's like I am launching a year long program in a more stable or less um raw raw type of month you know october november it's you know kind of, there's, there's so so long story short let me get back to this like should you launch in january okay or or um there are certain times of the year like january is a good example of like a raw raw month i would say back to school like august september is another raw raw month uh so like there's basically those two times of the year for most program launches um, for some some programs uh, it might make sense for like if you're a relationship coach you know like valentine's might be a might be one of those motivational times for you or like holidays might be another one or um, if you are a fitness type of person the start of the summer might be one of those rah-rah you know so like different times of the year match different industries and different like or like if you work with like moon cycles or like astrology or something, there might be certain times of the year that are like people go, oh, yes, I care about this sign or this type of moon situation or stars alignment and, and therefore I should join. Um, so anyway, but besides the point, the, the main question is, should you launch your program during a raw, raw type of month if it, make, you know, based on your industry? Um, like I said, like I would say if you're launching to people, if you want people to join who who are new to relatively new to you they haven't participated in various things from you and you're just an, a new type of person joining then i would always recommend like if you could launch a shorter type of like less dedication type of course like instead of a six month you know like meet us every meet every week type of thing it maybe it could be a a three-week course or a five-week course I and mean, you probably have seen me do this i most of my courses are a 
these days, my, as of this recording, most of my courses are five week courses. And so it's like anybody can join. It's not, you don't have to have experienced me at all. You, a random stranger who has just referred to me can join my five week course and it's, and it's just fine. And I can, and that, that would be a great thing to launch during a rah, rah type of month, because it's like, welcome everybody, you know, but, but yes, for a, um, a, a, a program that, you want them to dedicate themselves for a longer period or a more intensive period. It, you know, I, I think it's not, it's not that you shouldn't launch during a raw, raw month like January, but just know that you need better vetting processes. Um, the sales page of course needs to describe better and to, like, please read this carefully kind of thing. Like, please consider this, you know, or there might be an application process or some kind of like a discovery call process where you really like look them in the eye and have them say, no, no, this is really what I want to do. I am dedicated. Now, how are you going to, how, how are you going to uh, support yourself? Like what kind of systems are you going to put in place or process here? So I can, like, you might do that kind of vetting um, so that you, you get the, the, the more ideal type of uh, person for that program. So Thanks for asking, Shweta, and hope this helps.